Welcome back to Natty Crypto for another video. Like I said in my Telegram group, I was going to cover what's happened today with the news and how the markets are looking. You could either look at this two ways. You can look at it badly or you can look at it as an opportunity. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do further research before you invest your money. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. If it's financial advice you're looking for, please seek a financial advisor. It's just for educational purposes only. Like I said, putting opportunities out there for you to take. So you should wish. So I'm looking at, this is what happened to Bitcoin today. As you see, I've got it on the daily chart. Um, I already had quite a long uh, drawback yesterday, but it's also continued to go down and it hit around this price and bounced off around the naughty, uh, naughty? The 19,473. Um, as you can see from my little drawing, it was just, a, I've kept it on there. It was just an idea of how things move. I wasn't putting it as a precise, um, a precise angle. But if you see the lower horizontal line here that I've set at 16,556 from the lows from when it uh, started to rise from January, it, it looks like it's kind of halfway on its way down to that point in time. I think it will go there, I'll be honest. Um, I don't know how fast it will take or how, how quick it would be, but I do think it will we will see the lows between 16 and 17k. It could go further than that. Who knows? It really does depend on the US markets because they are starting to have an impact again on uh, the crypto market. So what did we have here? Excuse my phone. So this is where I got most of my information from. Uh, very, very good information on this uh, Twitter. I do recommend following it. Uh, so about five hours ago, uh, Silicon Valley Bank has dropped 60%. So three stocks are down 20% plus. First Republic Bank is down and Signature Bank is down. So basically, they're saying that the bank stocks exceed $100 billion in lost market cap over the last 24 hours. Bank stocks are now set for their worst week weekly performance since June 2020. Um, that doesn't look good at all after what's happened with the recent, um, uh, the recent news. I think I had that, I shared what it was from this morning. Uh, let's see if I can go back. Eight and hours ago, that's not right. Where was the news itself on the, on here? I shared it in my Telegram group. I'll get it off the Telegram group because I can't find it on there to hand. Here we go, this bit here. Um, so. It was the breaking news. That uh, was about uh, half past one. The US economy adds 311,000 jobs in February, above expectation 205,000. Unemployment rate hit 3.6%, while wages increased 0.2%. Uh, Inflation is far more out of control than the Fed expected. So prepare, prepare for a Fed uh, pivot from hawkish to even hawkish news. So that's generally what what the news is, uh, is, has caused. And it's made Bitcoin drop down a little bit more than it done yesterday. And like I said, I do see it coming down to these levels, definitely. So what other news do we have? This is the S&P news from 6.30 this morning. Wall Street expected to open down as markets continue to digest two days of testimony to Congress by the Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. So obviously he's done a little bit of testimony about everything. With a monthly jobs report and next week's consumer inflation data likely determine the extent of the Fed's next uh, interest rate hike. I'm just going to move on from that. Jobless claims data supports stocks. So US stocks are edged into positive territory at the open as initial jobless claims for the last week came in higher than expected ahead of Friday's crucial non-farm payrolls report. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was up 133 points. S&P added 8 points. So even though the jobless, uh, the jobless claim for the last week was um, a 10-week high, it was an increase of 192,000 in the previous week, <clears throat> it seems to have had a bit of a, a good effect on the on the price of the stock market. <clears throat> Weekly jobs came rise more than expected, gave a bit of a mixed uh, mixed view on the market. Uh, so the Dow closed Thursday down 400, 542 points, Nasdaq 1.7%. Uh, so the uh, S&P financial sector fell by 4%. It's the worst day since June 2020. So it doesn't look particularly 
favourable, does it? Everyone knows El Capo. Do we know El Capo? I, obviously, I follow him. Um, and he hasn't retweeted really since the 17th of February, but he tweeted this, this uh, testimony. I'll get it up a bit higher for you. Give us such defamation and hate received during these days in which I've simply stayed on the sidelines. That's fine. But he's saying, it's important to remember, I haven't flipped bearish at the local bottom. I've been out of the market for 40k levels. Uh, so if the market is bouncing and you people making profits, why are they not happy and enjoying the moment instead of criticising others day after day? Right, yada, 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 yada. Um, he still believes that 12k is the target. So move, moving on to talk about the current market situation. In my opinion, this is still the biggest bull trap ever. All this move has been artificially pumped with BUSD and USDC. The proofs are there. This looks like a clear bear market rally, a wave, BX, echo bubble, or whatever you want to call it. He stood by his uh, belief, <clears throat> and he's not tweeted since 17th of February. So let's have a look at the markets as it looks at the moment. You've got Bitcoin um, is down 10% over the last seven days, 3.5% in the last 48 hours. Ethereum down 3.92% in the last 24 hours. So if you look at it, it's quite red across the board. I think it started to move up a little bit, it bounced, but I'll be honest with you, I do see this continuing to continue to fall for a little while longer. You may hate me to say that, but that's fine. But let me tell you this one thing. I'm not selling anything. I'm not panic selling anything because every time I've panic uh, sold in my um, experience on crypto, I regretted it every single time because I work full time. I can't keep an eye on the charts all the time. I'm not a day trader. I'm not there trading every minute or every second of the day. I can't catch these uh, falls and then buy in and then sell high. I, I don't have the time to do that. So if you're like me, then you will probably have the same problems that I do. What is this? Number 19, Una said Leo, who are you? Um, interesting, bitfinex.com. Huh, must be an exchange token. That's moved up quite well. Sorry, a little bit sidetracked there. Um, <clears throat> let's go back to the targets in hand. Yeah, so this is what we're seeing. A bit of sea of red and a tiny bit of green in the last hour. Well, like I said, I'm not selling because I will regret it because I can't catch the bottom. You never catch the bottom. But I wouldn't be able to catch it low enough that I'd be comfortable to buy back in again. I'll never catch it high enough that I'll be comfortable to sell it because I work full-time. I can't keep an eye on it. So anything like me, you'll have the same problem. So all I want to say to you is, it's up to you. You don't have to follow my advice. You don't have to do what I say. Absolutely not. But if you've got a decent bag and you haven't got the time to keep an eye on the market and by selling high, but I'm buying back in low, then don't sell. Because as it's coming down, it's the worst time to sell. I'm telling you now, you. this is not, it's not a bull market. This is not the bull that we've seen, you know. All you've got to do is just click on Bitcoin. If you're ever in doubt, zoom out. Zoom the hell out. So people bought down here in 2016. It's still miles up compared to when they bought back then. Even people bought here, they are broken even. People bought down here, they're still miles ahead of what they uh, are paid for. The unfortunate ones are the ones that bought up here. They're still either the panic sold and lost money or they're still waiting for the Bitcoin price to move. And it will move. When the next ball comes along, it will move. There's something else that I wanted to show as well that they do talk about. <laughs> That's a cool background. Is the uh, stock market. Market cheat. Sheet. I've got to bring that up. I'll get it up for you now. Where is the cheat sheet? So hopefully I can find it. Stop market for dummies cheat sheet. It's this, oh no, there it is. That's the one I want. So this is the cheat sheet. Now, this looks like what we had recently, and this looks like what's happening now. If you put this against uh, the BTC, this is what looked like 2021, and the next the next high, okay, it wasn't exactly accurate, but it shows a double top. And it started to come down. All these, you know, this, you could say this is the Luna crash, the FTX crash, or the Luna crash, 
tired to recover, FTX crash, January recovery, this little double top we had recently, and now look, we're probably, we're probably on our way down. But then it starts to get a bit of relief, it starts to move up. And that's where this comes into play. And that's when that happens. And this is when people start to believe again. And all those retailers, which you and I are not gonna be, one of those retailers is going to come in, FOMO in, start buying and pumping your bags to high heaven, if I'm allowed to say that. So let's just have one more look and see. If you Did you buy Render with me? Did you buy Polygon with me? Do you have Polygon? Let's have a look at Polygon. Let's go, ooh. Yeah? The same thing, it's following the cheat sheet. We're there. But... When did I buy? I bought around here. I bought around here about 20, 20 cent mark. I'm still, you know, four times my money. Even I says, even if it came down to that price, I'm not going to worry. If it went below that price, I'm telling you now, I will be buying more. I'm going to be earning more money to buy more because I know that when this pumps. And it will pump higher than that. What was the market cap at the height? It was only 19 billion. Sitting at XRP's current height. Ish. I know that this will guarantee me a big return. So I'm not worried. So don't be worried. Believe in your bags. Do not sell them. It's up to you if you want to. If you really need to sell them. It's a necessity for you to live your life. Then I'll understand. But I'm not selling. That's what I'm doing. Be optimistic. The ball is gonna come in the next couple of years. That's what you're that's what you're aiming for. Your 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 long term. Don't expect to be a millionaire overnight, it's just not gonna happen. You have to wait. I went into this market thinking I'll be billionaire millionaire overnight. Everyone's everyone said, ah, oh, somebody made millions of millions of pounds, they put a bit of money on Shiba Inu or Dogecoin or whatever it was. I didn't, but I learned. This is what I'm doing, I'm holding. And when the market comes down to 15 to 16K, I'm gonna be buying more. If it goes down even more, I'm gonna be buying more. I'm telling you that now. I'm gonna be dollar cost averaging every damn month until I see that pump. And when that pump comes, I'm selling because I'm gonna have even more money in my bags. I'm gonna leave it there. I'll see you in my next video when I start talking about some projects again. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my channel and enjoy my content, please like. I like to try and get at least 20 likes this time. And subscribe and hit notification bell because I do send things out that are quite time sensitive. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.